Hello, this is simply about networking protocols and today we're talking about STP and its variations like STP, RSTP, MSTP, PVST. RSTP is defined in standard IEEE 802.1D version of 2004. RSTP is defined in same .1D to 2004. Originally it was defined in .1W but integrated lately, lately in uh, .1D. MSTP defined in .1Q version 2014 and PVST this is Cisco proprietary protocol. Uh, Cisco claims that it um, compatible with .1W. Uh, usually you should expect that it will be not 100% compatible with all above, uh, but without critical issues. So the goal of STP is to bring topology into the state where there is no cycles in this topology. So uh, no risk of creating storms between devices. Well, it sounds complicated, but in reality it much simpler because each device operating individually. STP is kind of dialogue uh, protocol, but in reality there is no real dialogue. Each device informs neighbors about its own state and uh, configuration in scope of STP, receives information from neighbors where they inform this device about their configuration and status in scope of STP and modifying own configuration and status basing on this received information. That's it. Some ports on device can be part of STP topology because STP is not enabled there or STP enabled, but there is no STP of our neighbors. Some will be part of that topology. Let's assume that on all ports STP is enabled, then transmission of BPDUs, that is STP frame, is sending information, sending BPDU packets with information about this device to all neighbors from ports where STP is enabled and receive BPDUs is receiving BPDUs on ports where neighbor devices that are STP aware and STP enabled placed. Most important information that in transmit received in BPDU is root bridge ID, root pass cost, bridge ID and port ID. Root bridge ID and bridge ID contains of priority value and address value, MAC address in this case. This is done to make this value as unique as possible, but still compatible. Root pass cost, this is pass, cost of pass from this device to the root device. This is not the number of hopes between devices or devices in between. This is a little bit more complicated because it is based on line rate of ports that are part of this path. And on each device after receiving BPDU, two priority vector added additional information that is received port ID that is, contains information about port where this BPDU was received. It can contain priority depending on the um, vendor and device of the vendor that you are working with. Some vendors has it, some doesn't. And definitely will have received port number. For example, by default, uh, priorities on bridge level are 32768. This is half of maximum possible 6535. Uh, uh, that is transmitted translated into hexadecimal values. MAC address, this is hexadecimal value by itself. Pass calls by default zero because each device by default treats itself as a root. Uh, port numbers, well, clear. Port priority can have 
will have and uh, for some vendors received port id will not have separate priority it will not be calculated so it's in question marks here but number will be available definitely then on initial stage each device treats itself as root and sending information to all neighbors saying i am root uh, i mean i'm root here this information contains root bridge id and bridge id the same values because root bridge for this bridge itself and pass cost is zero because it's standing on his feet on his own feet then device receives information from the neighbors okay and compare this information start comparing vectors his own vector where it treats him like a root and vector received from the neighbor where a selected root bridge id that is some another bridge or neighbor bridge itself doesn't matter those two values being compared on the level of selecting root device uh, root bridge id comparison is enough everything else is used to process root ports so comparing those two vectors bridge decided for example that it remains the root information on this device id of this device is better than receive comparison rule is uh, very simple the less the better the bigger the worse so it compared decided that id is less better remains the root and nothing has changed to this device he is remains the root he transmit happily this information to all the neighbors saying i am the root period let's take a look on this case if uh, received information is better basing on comparison rule the less the better the bigger the worse so root bridge id selected root bridge id that we receive is better than our bridge id then our device agrees that this is the root and start transmitting information that root bridge id is selected root bridge root pass cost is original pass plus added what he's calculated basing on uh, his port land rate but this bridge and this port remain the same because this bridge doesn't change and ports same ports he transmits information from to uh, to block the traffic and to avoid possible cycles in the topology device need to detect the root port this is done basing on the information received from the, all the neighbors okay then receiving information from all the neighbors it took the uh, vectors received and calculates basing on same comparison rule the less the better the bigger the worse calculating the smallest number of this vector and compares and, and not compares so all all of them are being compared between themselves and let's imagine that after all the calculation uh, the port with id6 was selected as the root port it means so root port means that root device behind this port and pass cost from this port is the minimal pass cost to the root then port 6 uh, we selected as a root port based on the calculation and it remains forwarding and it receives and transmits all the traffic are the ports that are looking towards the root but having some worse information turned into the blocked stage it means that they are still processing bpdus but not processing traffic this is how we are breaking all the cycles in the topology let's imagine we have some spanning tree topology 
uh, no, let's first, let's imagine that we have some devices topology and we want to build a spanning tree topology there. We have a device in the right upper corner with bridge ID 10, left down corner 40 and all others between 10 and 70 just to uh, provide an example how it works. On the, on the first stage, if devices are enabled simultaneously, each device treats itself as a root and transmit this information to all the neighbors. I am the root. Those two bridges will agree that root is top right because its bridge ID, its root ID is the same because it will be the same as bridge ID. Those two will agree that root is bridge with ID 40 and this one will agree that root is bridge with ID 20 because all the information it receives is 20, 70, 30, 50. So we got this on the stage 2 and each device now transmitting this information to all its neighbors. And on the next stage we will see that this central device will apply the root ID stand because two neighbors uh, provided this information. Those two will agree that root ID is 20 because they received this information from central device. And uh, the left bottom corner device will still and see that he is 40 because he didn't receive information with bad ID yet. On the next stage, the bottom left device will receive information that we have a root with ID 20 that is better and it will agree with it. All others will agree that, well, 10 is the best ID that we have. And only on the next stage, uh, the device will receive the uh, information that there is a root with better ID than itself and better ID than 20, that is 10. This device will agree with that, apply this information, and now we have the topology where all the devices agree that root ID is 10, and basing on the calculation of this information, cycles were broken. Okay? So, let's... This is very long process. If we have much more devices, this will take links to the uh, and, and those devices uh, combined in very interesting topology. So this will take could take huge time and will take huge time. So uh, it was decided to make a rapid span and tree protocol that has modified state machine timers some state machine modi modified and uh, some additional uh, types of the packets to improve speed of the topology building. Everything is pretty the same except speed and order of processing some information. That's it. MSTP. If you remember from the video with Willens, uh, I told you that it is possible to treat VLAN as a slice of the device and this slice contains only ports of the device that are members of this VLAN. MSTP announces instances, so-called instances, that contain specific VLANs there. And we can treat instance as a slice of the device that contains ports that are members of the VLANs member of this instance. And all topology can be treated as a slice of topology per instance that contains devices and ports that are members of specified VLANs in this instance. So within slice, all the processing is according to RSTP and spanning tree. All the procedures are the same, only within the slice. That's simple. That's it. No, no, uh, not a rocket science yet. PVST, unlike of MSTP, PVST makes a slice per villain. It doesn't have instances. 
or in other way we can treat it as each villain is treated as instance so topology is sliced per villain not per instance this is the whole difference that simple about span tree have a nice day